Good day everybody, welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here, thank you very much for tuning in. I am with Sage, my cameraman, and this is going to be part two of the Shad Terra series. Today we're actually going to be mounting the system here, which is the Shad Saddlebag Mount. This is what we refer to as the 4P system. So this is the heavy duty mounting system with all the hardware and basically it is so simple that I just got my basic essential tools that I ride with, uh, that I carry when I go exploring. We're simply going to use those to actually mount this system onto the Tenere 700. Uh, today we are going to do the actual install of the Terra series. You will notice that yes, I already have the mount here installed. Uh, that was just due to the fact that I ran into a snag this morning. Before we started to do the video shoot, we wanted to make sure that everything would fit up because I do like to carry a Rotopax on um, a solo seat cover. So when I went to this morning to kind of do a uh, first check fit just to make sure everything would work, um, I was having a bit of a conflict in regards to the top plate here coming into to contact with my uh, my roto pack, right? So I had to kind of uh, rethink my design on the roto packs. I had to basically move my bracket up a little bit further forward. So now this way I don't run into any interference. However, that's not going to stop us in regards to how actually how the mounting system works. Simply due to the fact that the side plate or the side case mounts uh, work in conjunction with the fasteners here that work for the top plate. So whether if you're putting just the top plate or side case mount or all two together, it's still going to follow the same sequence in regards to how we're going to mount this. So it, the installations are included. So I will actually take a screen capture and I will put that up on the video. So you can physically see um, it's fairly simply laid out. Uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward. All the fasteners here, if you come and take a look, um, everything is included that is needed. Uh, they are all uh, Allen head bolts. Uh, so it's very simple, very um, standard in regards to your tools. Other than that, we got the nuts, washers, collars, spacers. So depending on what you guys do, for the installation, whether if you're mounting it up with the top case mount or just the side cases, it will depend on what uh, spacers and collars that you will use. So basically refer to the instructions, refer to what it is you're going to do. Whether if you're doing it all in one shot deal or if you're going to do it in intervals, like later down the road, decide you're gonna go with a mount, just make sure to, to save all the fasteners that are not used, put them away, make sure that they're well kept, mark a note on it, put it in a zippy bag, put it in a, in a, in a storage facility that you know that you're not gonna lose because you never know if you're gonna need it later on down the road, right? So let's get to this, let's do the actual mounting. I will kind of go through the instructions at the same time. We'll kind of speed things up in regards to the installation. It's fairly straightforward. Make sure you have the proper tools to do this. Make sure you have Loctite to do this as well. Uh, I would use, recommend the blue Loctite. Just this way it, uh, it can be removed if need be. All right, um, like I said, uh, I'm basically doing it in a, a, an out, outdoors because we're trying to enjoy as much as we can of the outdoors. And uh, well, since, uh, yeah, I don't have a gar <laughs> garage, that's uh, the, the life of community living in an apartment. So all you young guys out there, actually, you know what, let's take a side note here. All you young guys out there, do your money savings. Don't be blowing it away. Be smart, get yourself a home, get yourself a garage. So this way, when it does come time to doing future projects, you have the place and the facility to do that, right? So just be smart, right? Anyways large medium and small collar so we have a large medium and small collar so each side here so we're gonna have the large medium and those are the washers so this is going to be the collar right four three and two four three and two yeah so there's this this and this however since we are using the top plate we no longer need these guys. So 
Again, if you are mounting it without the top plate, then you would use those little small collars. If you are not mounting it with the top plate, or if you are mounting it with the top plate, bleh, then those little collars are removed. Oh, my f my what? F what do you think? Did it just sting you? Yes. Bro? No way! Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm what is it with you and bees? I'm recording that too. Huh? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? How the hell did oh, it be? Oh man, it, that one move? hurts. Did no, you kind of... no, I grabbed him last minute because I felt something move. Oh. Coming, to the, uh, coming to the end of the year, the wasps that are such dicks. They're going around and they're just being a real nuisance and poor, unfortunately, Sage, the poor cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> come and come and zoom in here so just so we can kind of see so but these are the actual collars and the washers that are used if you're using simply the top mount here as you can kind of see from here um, so that's times four but being that now we are mounting the side cases these things are not going to be used and we're going to use these two spacers which are probably the same spacers as those two right so We'll kind of get this one over here. So uh, as you can pretty much see, it's fairly simple. Once, you, once you've done the, the, the top plate, if you start with the top plate, um, if you go ahead and you put the side plates on, um, it's pretty much straightforward as it is, right? And as, as I said on my previous video, the, the both top plate and the side plates, I find they almost act as a protector to the whole body. I was almost thinking about actually uh, getting the this system powder coated. It would have been pretty cool. I thought, but then I'm like, eh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that over the winter. That might be a little winter project, right? Yeah, we'll so, color them. see if you can get that wasp. No, I don't know. Can you get him? Mm, go! <laughs> He's gonna sting you on the ankle. So, yeah. So once you get that on, and depending on which mounts, this one would probably go here, right? that system is going to kind of go there. Yeah, it kind um, of does. It does act definitely as a, as a kind of a protection, right? Well, so that alone here yeah. will act, you know, like this. protect your fender, yeah. Yeah. Because eh? it sticks out more. So. And it's quite and it's quite beefy, right? So let me just get on to the other side here. I was I was thinking about it last night and just due to the fact that I had my um, Rotopax and the solo seat cover from Yamaha uh, on it just due to the fact that I, if I'm going to travel for a long way, I want to make sure that I have enough fuel because you never know if you need it, right? So I was thinking about it, and I was just like, oh, I should have waited before I actually fabricated the bracket, uh, which is, you can also see in one of my previous videos as well. Um, I, sh I said I should have waited to put the bracket on until I got this. Uh, just so I can see, you know, what's the actual placement of the uh, of the Rotopax Roto mount portion of it is, right? So, anyways, live and learn. But this way, it's a, it's a simple swap out. If uh, if I'm riding solo without any of this, then I can just kind of change the the Rotopax mount. But other than that, I like the way it's positioned, since uh, it does actually almost create a, a lower lumber support right almost like a kind of like a backrest right so and again these mounts here are also direction not they're they're unidirectional right so you have there's only one way you can actually go on let's just get this threaded in so so far for the for the most part it looks like the only thing we'll need is an allen set uh, looks to be almost like a 12 millimeter um, wrench probably a 14 mil wrench and then a 10 mil wrench so other than that that's pretty much straightforward it's super simple nothing uh, too crazy when it comes to mounting um, you will need a Torx uh, I think it's a, a Torx uh, what was it a Torx 40 to physically remove the stock fasteners that are here which are those kind of like those bungee holders um, so that's, that's the only thing I found kind of odd with this, uh, the Tenere 700, is there's a combination between Torx and Allen. So it uh, kind of gets frustrating where you have to now carry 
lot, two sets of uh, the all-in-one, all-in-one kits, right? This is what I definitely like to carry into my tool, tool bag. Get this here. I'm not gonna over, I'm not gonna over tighten everything yet. Um, I'm not even gonna put Loctite on it yet, though. Uh, I recommend that you do. Just I want to get this first installed and just make sure that everything works seamlessly and everything is connected up. So again, we're back to the protection. Now this one here, from what I understand, is going to be sticking out a little bit more. Why? Because we have the exhaust, right? Uh. So that's where I was saying on my previous uh, video is, is the bag mount on the right hand side for the Tenere 700 is going to be sticking out more due to the fact that you have the exhaust. So if you're running the same size bags left and right it's one's going to be sticking out more and then the actual uh dimensions if you want to say the full balance of the bike is going to be a little bit off where many people uh they would run a thicker bag on the opposite side of the exhaust that basically just spreads out the weight and makes the bike more balanced but it just looks odd for me i just find it looks odd that you got a big bag on one side and a small bag on the other right so um just Personal preference again, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there again, um, just so you guys know, since you are removing some of the factory hardware, um, I, I would highly suggest as well that uh, people put it in little baggies and make sure you just don't lose it, right? So that kind of suck. Oof. Ooh, the placement of this is a bit of a pain in the ass. I go here like this. Uh oh. That's our first hiccup. So. The alignment. Well, it's on the same level. You can't stick the tool in there. The alignment is a little bit off. Ooh. Yeah, see? So. All right, there's a, there's a bit of a hiccup there. That's something uh, that we can uh, definitely uh, pass on uh, the information back to Shad. Um, it's just a bit of a, bit of a frustration. If you kind of look at the angle here, no matter where you look, if you're trying to come in and, and attach that, unless you have just a regular Allen, Allen key that's got the 90, little 90 degree bend on it, um, it kind of makes it uh, very frustrating to kind of come and fix. So you can get away with it like this, as you can see what I'm doing right now. But if you don't have uh, a socket set, <laughs> watch your, I don't want to hit you there with the camera. Uh, tap. Huh? Tap. No, it's not, it's, it's, it's not because it's, it's tight in the, uh, the bolt. It's, it's pressed up onto that, right? Oh. So if it, yeah, if, if your fastener or if your tool is stuck inside a bolt, then yes, tap yeah, it yeah. and it helps pop it off, right? It's like a nut with a, with a box spanner, right? But that's not that, that was something else. So shame, shame, shame on you, Mr. Shad. So anyways, so at least I can tell you, uh, I can confirm that all the fasteners are metric, so. That's good, so at least you don't have to kind of keep going back and forth between uh, standard and metric because a lot of companies out there who do uh, hardware fastener packages uh, would have a mixture, even though your bike is, is, is mostly metric fasteners, uh, they give you a bag of hardware which are all standard, which that kind of sucks, right? So you're always having to, to swap out between keys just to get everything to work. It's, a, it's already a pain in the butt. So there you go. That's that's definitely that's, like, huh? And then there's this gone. little there's this a central bar that kind of goes across as well, right? Just to kind of hold it as well. Yeah, make it more. But simple. I mean that that's definitely a, you know, I think when you if you lay the bike down now, if you're crashing it hard, you smack. It doesn't it matter, you. right? Yeah. That's the least of your worries. But if you're just dropping the bike in the trail or something like that, it's and you're riding around, well, you know, yeah, rock there's rock. nothing here that kind of you know that will catch. You know, if you're coming up and there's a branch or a tree. Well, you know, the tree would still scuff up all onto this, so it's not going to be catching in, right? So yeah, there's it, there's many mounts out there. Like I said, they're just over-engineered. They're so big 
that when when you kind of going through it captures everything right and you feel it because you're like bringing down the whole forest as you're riding through so something like this you know it's, it's very slick yeah it kind of there's there's a channel that kind of helps flow over it right and it's not in the way so that's cool let's do the other side now i don't think we have to replace i don't think we have to replace these fasteners because they are quite long this bracket here kind of goes there like that yeah it just uh keeps the same fasteners good factory fasteners anyways are always better a little stronger yeah than tested And then the only thing that we have left actually is the uh that bar yeah the little uh i don't really like i don't like it like i don't think it acts as any kind of i i would presume maybe stops it from just kind of Rattling. fluttering well, i guess now you're gonna have weight on those bags right yeah but like these like, i know they're pretty strong gonna have right weight on the bags i know so I it just, just kind of pulls it in together god i don't like this i, I hate having <laughs> No, okay. I mean, it's it's out here, so it's closing. It comes close to the the license plate bracket. So, okay, I guess so. We will do it. Whatever. Or does that go there? Ooh, I need to refer to the instructions because they, it's got a unique shape. So, I need to make sure. See all you ladies, us guys, we actually do use the installation instructions. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so the tighter shape here, so as you can see, um, the shape is slightly different. So this tighter cornering will actually go on the side of the exhaust. So we'll kind of put it there, all right? So would it, would it work there? I just hate this. You know what I mean? It's kind of ugly. God, I hate it. But. Now it's needed. Yeah, let's just take a look. And uh, there you go. She she's there. Then the last thing all we have to do is physically put the the cases on. So for that, I will put the the tumblers into the hard cases. We'll get it installed onto the bike. And like I said, as of uh, in a week's time from now, um, I do have a a good ride ahead of us. And we'll kind of give it, run it through its paces, and make sure everything works well. So. Let me finish this up and then we'll do a nice walk around. All right. All right, well, there you have it now. So we've officially completed the installation of the Shad Terra Series, TR Series, for the hard cases, side cases, and then for the actual top case. So we'll give it a, a little walk around here, but for the most part, um, it took me around 20 minutes to do the install of the top case this morning. And then it took us a total of around 45 minutes to do the side case installs because we did have to remove the top case again right but again thank you very much for tuning in thank you very much for uh, subscribing if you haven't done so please do so don't forget to hit that notification button and again if you have any questions any suggestions any comments do let me know check out my previous video of the actual introductory of the actual tr series side cases from shad you do have a promo code there if you want to do an actual purchase it will provide you with 20 percent off of retail excluding taxes and shipping of course but uh, yeah hit that video up get that promo code get your order in and uh, purchase everything you can right now it is for a limited time only so other than that be good have fun take care don't forget keep it covered guys